Fallout 4 is a game rated M by the ESRB. And we're back at Echo Lake Lumber. There's a reason for it, I'll explain in a moment. Hello everyone, and welcome back to more Steven Plays Fallout 4. On the last episode, this is where we were, although it was a little more bright and sunshiny than, uh, than it is right now. We've come back because uh, we apparently missed a terminal, but also, um, this is where the people from Far Harbor moved, or at least some of them. So I thought it might be nice to kind of check out. So hungry all the time. Can we trade a few things? Now this is a um, this is an actual. We're gonna take your ammo. <laughs> this this is an actual settlement now, so we can build it up and enter workshop mode just like any other place. Um, and we should probably work towards that. There's uh, I think three different people living here. It's interesting because all the bodies of uh, of these ghouls and stuff are still fresh. The game has not had time to uh, to despawn any of them. Got some some stuff I missed around here. I should actually double check. I didn't feel like I rushed through this place, but I was kind of under some pressure because there was so much firing and, and things like that. There were people attacking me. But I walked right past this terminal. You gotta get out of my power armor, unfortunately, to do this. So I will briefly and probably take some uh, some rads in the process. Uh, let's see. Check out this terminal and see if there's any lore on it. Play tape. Uh, let's eject it. And that way we'll be able to uh, listen to it while we're walking around. Personally, I prefer that. And we'll be safer, so that makes a lot more sense, too. Alright, Levi's Hollow Tape. Maybe we'll learn something from Levi's Hollow Tape. Uh, let's see. Miscellaneous. I'm all the way down here. Because there are a million things in our inventory now. Levi's hollow tape. Play. Jimmy, if you don't keep that little twerp Bentley out of my face, I swear to God I'm gonna throw this fucking terminal through the wall. He saw me coming across the log rolling horse before work. He starts asking why I was out there at five in the morning. If you want to keep those extra profits rolling in, you better keep him in line. I totally missed this door. Man, I didn't really think I missed that much stuff. But apparently I, uh, apparently I did. Let's open this thing up. Yes. There's no enemies in here. Yeah, that one's dead. Just got stuff coming out of everyone. Plasma cartridges? Yeah, Scrounger is definitely, uh, is definitely nice to have. I do not for a minute getting, uh, do not regret for a minute getting Scrounger. Now, someone had told me that there was actually a chest somewhere that we missed. Son of a gun, they were right. We walked right by it. It comes with... The Harvester, which is a legendary ripper, chance to stagger on hit. Well, awesome! Thank you for letting me know. So, uh, we also got a few other things. So, um, glad we stopped back by here. Got a tiny bit of lore, and definitely some supplies. Um, I know that I was under a little pressure because I was fighting all these guys here, but I can't believe I missed that much stuff. Anyway, um, now what we're gonna do, kind of the agenda for this episode, is, uh, we're gonna do the, uh, what's it called, the Red Death? Is that what we're doing? I read the comments from last episode, and uh, people were going crazy. They said, this is the hardest boss fight. They said, you're, you're going into, like, the hardest or one of the hardest boss fights in the game. Super difficult. Bring your fat man, bring your chems, bring everything you got. And I'm... I, I'll be honest, you're worrying me a little bit. Just a little bit. This, I mean, it sounds quite frightening, so I'm not exactly sure what we're in for, but that is the uh, that's the agenda. Now, before we do that... We probably should do some level of preparation, so um, I've been told that uh, I should really try out this MIRV mod, so we're actually going to grab some supplies, head back to Sanctuary, and uh, do some souping up on some of our weapons. Mariner, please. I heard about this expedition of yours. We need you. Please, turn back. The hull's strong, and one more rifle won't make a difference. Mainlander, if the Red Death's real, we can't afford to lose you both. Really think it's dangerous? Every now and again, some fool goes hunting for the Red Death. Sometimes they come back empty-handed, but more times than not, that's the last they're heard of. The hunt for the Red Death has taken its share of drunks, but it's also taken the lives of our mightiest men and women. Please, don't throw your life away. Consider your warning delivered. If there's nothing I can say, good luck. Hmm. I, uh, I just went back to the Commonwealth and took care of a few things. When I warped back here, I was, I guess, standing right next to them to trigger that cutscene. 
Things are pretty good. Um, I'm still I'm still buying some ammo. Um, just for the fact that uh, having more ammo for Nancy can't be bad. Show me what you got. Make it fast. So I'm buying 45 ammo. Um, there were there was a few people that said uh, you know you could actually switch N uh, Nancy over to a different ammo type. Um, Sure, and then it would do less damage, or in some cases more damage, but the problem is it wouldn't be automatic, so the fire rate would actually be cut in half, and at that point it's, you know, not so good. So what I've been doing, uh, and this is actually the recommendation of a commenter, is selling off 38 rounds. We have, we, I had like over 7,000. We, we don't use them. Um, I can't remember the last time we used them, so I've just been kind of selling them off and kind of offsetting the cost of... Uh, the 45 rounds, which is a much better ammo type for me. So now I have a thousand bullets for Nancy. I don't know what this red death thing is going to be like, but apparently it's going to be difficult. So the most important thing that I wanted to make sure I did was I wanted to put the MIRV mod on, um, on the gun, on the, the fat man, the fat Albert. And uh, there was one commenter that, that seemed very distraught because he said it would reduce the range, but the range never changed. The range was still 117, so I don't know if it's something that's not showing up, but there were so many people telling me to get it that I went for it, and apparently it's strong, even though the damage went down immensely. Um, I'm guessing it shoots a bunch of little ones or something. I'm sure they'll be fine. Uh, otherwise, uh, the other thing I did is I didn't take it with me, but I took a look at that... Um, the, the Western Revolver, and the Western Revolver almost certainly will eventually become stronger than the, uh, the pistol that we had. Not the Stork, but the other one, the, the Magnum. And, um, it, it's weird because it requires Gunslinger. Now, if you don't remember, Gunslinger is the perk that allows us to increase our damage of non-automatic pistols. So there is a gun, that Western Revolver, will actually benefit from doing this. It's something I wanted to do eventually, but there's certain, you know, things, attachments, mods, for that gun that we can't even do until we get Gunslinger, which is really interesting. Um, so I feel like I'm mostly prepared. I've got 20 grenades, 10 Molotov cocktails, a Nuka grenade. Um, the, uh, the other thing I did is I, I took that, um, that minigun that we found that had plasma in it, and we had another minigun called Tiny, so now we have Tiny Goo. Um, I don't know if there's anything else I need. Oh, I considered bringing the missile launcher. I just forgot. <laughs> I was actually gonna bring it, I just forgot to bring it. Um, God, you guys have been so adamant about how hard this is. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the mainland, I'm gonna grab the missile launcher. Alright, I'm back. I have Quad City missiles in my inventory, which is good. Um, we should be good to go. I have 42 missiles, which is probably plenty. Uh, I'm still not over encumbered. I can hold quite a bit of stuff right now. I feel pretty good about my weapon selection. This is obviously not all my weapons, but this is a lot of weapons. And I can do a lot of, uh, a lot of damage with them. I have a, a, a fair bit of ammo for the stuff that I brought. Hopefully I, ch I chose well. I have no idea what's about to go down, but we're, we're gonna find out. Mariner. I'll meet you there. The Red Death is going down. So I just get on the boat. Do how do I drive? <laughs> no, really, how do I? How do I? How do I go there? Is this my boat? Which boat is it? Is this not my boat? How do I? How do I do this? Hey, Mariner. I'll meet you there. The red death is going down. Uh, oh, here we go. I. <laughs> Certainly, this should have been obvious, right? Of course, you have to look at the tiny buttons. Travel to Red Death Island. Oh god, what are we getting ourselves into? Well... I may have just signed my life away. Oh man, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I was reading your comments, and there were some people that said that it took them forever to try and beat it. Some people said they couldn't. Some people said they got started and, and just couldn't do it and left. And I'm like, okay. Read me, Mainlander. I plotted a safe course for your boat. Don't tamper with it. The shoals near where we're headed can easily capsize a boat of your size. I'll catch up to you. Oh my god. 
Not much further, Mainlander. When Auntie Stacy told others of her brush with the Red Death, they laughed at her. Then, two weeks after, a full fishing boat never came back. From the beach, they saw the glow on the horizon. I've been looking to end the reign of the Red Death's terror my whole life. Wrecks all around it. There. You see it, right? Um. Meet you there, and get prepared. Oh. Wait, what? What is it? There's definitely something glowing red over there. Um. Okay. Guess we'll just be careful. Wait, what? Wait. Um. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> um. Is it. Wait a minute, that. That can't be it. Is that. It can't be. That's the Red Death? Are you sure this is it? It's got to be the red glowing eyes. I mean, when the fog's thick, that little fella is deadly in his own fashion. The shoals around here are treacherous. A middling captain with a might of curiosity would run aground for certain. And this far from shore, that'll end you. Wow. Think we can handle it? We could always call in the Marines. Oh, ha ha. What do we say to all the folk back home? I meant this to be my last great adventure. Instead, if we tell the folk back at town, I'll be a laughing stock. Maybe we embellish a little. Or a lot. Make it the stuff of legends. I have little stomach for it. But... It's better than the alternative. Let's go. I thought... I got this for you. To celebrate. I didn't think it would turn out like this. Legend of the Harbor reduces damage for Mirelurks and Bugs by 15%. 2,000 value. Wow. Um... Man. Doggone it. You know what I'm most impressed by? I'm most impressed by you guys. <laughs> Because you guys had me going. I was scared to death. I was like, oh my god. Because someone, one person had said it took them like three hours to beat this thing. And I was going into it and I'm like, oh my god, this thing is, this thing's going to really cause us some problems. And it's, it's just this little baby thing. Wow. Um. Hi there, little buddy. Should I just. Is it even hostile? Wow, it's not even hostile. Which is kind of funny. Hey, bud. <laughs> now the Mariner's shooting at it. Now, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? No, no. No, no don't run. You're making this harder than it needs to be. God, I don't even think we need to kill it. I mean, I guess we have to kill it. Otherwise, people will see the... The eyes again. Hmm. Can I pick it up? Oh my god, it's... It's so wiggly. Oh my god, I'm gonna take it with me. <laughs> I, I wish that I could strap it to my pit boy Then it could be my new flashlight. There we go. But whenever you walk with it like this, it looks like it's alive. Alright. It wasn't supposed to be like this. I know, but you know, these things happen. And I feel kind of bad. You know, because she was like, this is going to be the last big adventure. But, you know, it happens. The good news is, I'm taking the Red Death with me. Alright, boat controls, travel to Far Harbor. God, it kind of looks alive again. I know it's not. But it certainly looks the part. You okay, buddy? 
Yeah, I had a funny feeling that the game wouldn't let me keep that through a map transition. Darn shame. Kinda would've been funny to been like, <laughs> Look what I found! It's the Red Death's, um... Baby. <laughs> it was definitely the baby. Well, we're almost back. Guess we'll just tell everyone that it was a thousand feet tall. But we killed it with, uh, guns. Man, there was just- you guys did so good in the comments because, like, no one gave it away. And everyone had me going. Unless there actually is something more, like it's about to attack the town or something. Oh god, now I'm, a, I'm actually a little worried again. Um... Alright. Can I get off? There we go. Uh, alright. Let's, uh... Go say hello to everyone, I suppose. Did you find it? Front. Did you end the scourge of the seas? So, uh, we set sail. It was a terrible fight. So you killed it? Oh yes, we did at that. It was quite the sight. Did you hear? They did it! The Red Death's no more! Did it take long? My grand figured it would take a mini-nuke direct to the center of the eye to do it in. That would have worked, but we may do. The seas are ours again. We can fish in peace. Tell me, are you injured, Mariner? Are you okay? No. We managed to get through unscathed. Oh, thank God. I thought for sure you were sailing to your graves. Here's to the heroes. All right. I guess we did it? Mariner. Seems like the end of the road. Every time we've talked, you've given me a lot to think about. Might be time to come clean. Tell the others about my condition. But after the lies, it makes the decision even harder. So what's your plan? I'm working on it. I mean, at the end of it all, what's worth doing in your final days? What's worth leaving behind? Do what you can to leave a legacy. Something to be remembered by. I like the sound of that. No matter what happens, or what goes down, you were a true friend. Thanks, Mariner. I appreciate it. Yeah, he does. That's it! Completed the Great Hunt! Dang, we got the experience. Alright, um... So now, it's time to, uh, to look at what we have left to do. Um, I bought all this ammo, I bought all this stuff, I... <laughs> I have giant weapons with me. I have the Fat Man, I have the Missile Launcher, and I have... ...the, uh, the minigun. And it's just not <laughs> in any way, shape, or form necessary. Okay, so, um... So we did all those, the last thing to do is to help Mitch... ...and, uh, we do that by searching for Uncle Ken. I've accepted a job from Mitch to find his uncle at the National Park Visitor Center. He's the only person still living on the interior of the island and may be in danger. Okay, so we could do that, although I've also... I mean, I know that we have to do that, but I'm also kind of wanting to get to where the, um... Uh, what do they call it? The Children of Arcadia are. But apparently there's a really good gun there, and now that I've been kind of doing stuff with these guns, I'm like, oh, I'm really interested in getting some of these guns. Um, where... Where is it, though? Do we know where the children of Adam are? Did I say children of Arcadia? I think I did. I don't actually know where the children of Adam are located. If I... Oh, I turned off the legend. If I go back here... I gain access to Denima's terminal. Okay, so where is that? The Nucleus. And the Nucleus is a place I've never been. And I need to gain access to Dima's Terminal, but I don't have to do that specific part right now. I don't have to continue the main quest. I can just go chill out and be like, what's up, y'all? <laughs> How is it going? You guys doing good? Um, so in order to get there, because I'm going to help Mitch, but I don't want to do that right this second. In order to get there, I think I need to go back to Echo Lake Lumber and then start walking that direction. So we're back where we started the episode, Echo Lake Lumber. Um... Got everything we needed here, though, so we're gonna keep moving. I'm assuming we'll, will more people join? Maybe at some point more people join. We we'll probably need to build this place up, but I'm not worried about it too much at the moment. Um, for now, I'm gonna get my trusty rifle out, True Grit, and continue walking towards this uh, nucleus thing. It looks like. Oh, I thought that that was a uh, My Alert King. 
Fortunately, it doesn't seem to be. Did we ever go this way? This... This part doesn't look familiar. It might be because there's just nothing over here. There's just some storage containers of some sort. Oh, I bet the children of Adam are loving this. They're probably having, like, a special prayer day or something outside because they love the radiation. I mean, it kills them, but, you know, they still love it. Alright, so let's uh, just continue making our way over towards that. And being very vigilant and careful because we've seen some some mighty dangerous critters here in Far Harbor. God knows if I have to fight another one of those angler things, I'm going to lose my mind. So far, so good. Kind of wondering if uh, Longfellow's going to enjoy the fact that we're hanging out with the Children of Adam. We've been working towards getting his perk. I don't want to make negative process, you know, go back down. Bats isn't revealing any enemies right now, which is nice. Kind of wondering if I can fly to the other side of that river. There's a truck over there. Um, yeah, I think I can make it. There we go. Careful. Perfect. Alright, things are going well. Don't see anything too crazy. This is creepy, man. This is creepy. I almost wonder... I mean, I know that these events happen naturally, the, the weather. But I kind of wondered, like, if you mark it as the, the thing you're going to do... If it doesn't... Like, force the weather change or something. Maybe. I don't know. Um... I think that looks like the entrance, maybe? Now, if I do that in there, they're all gonna kill me. Is it a separate map? I think it's a separate map. We're just gonna walk over here. Don't see anybody. This looks like the entrance to their little place, but... Th you know, it, we should be friendly. Um, I don't think we're gonna have any problems here. Is this it? The Nucleus. Richter, please. You can't do this. We've been it's loyal. Grand Zealot to you. And your dedication is coming to doubt. You need to prove your faith. One of you may return to the fold. The other... will return to Adam. Richter, this is insane! You can't expect us to- Whoa. Will there be anything else? That'll be all, sister. Thank you, Grand Zealot. Oh my god, these people are crazy. You... What are you doing here? Did Far Harbor send you? Hmm... It's okay. I'm not from Far Harbor. I'm from the Commonwealth. Hmm. Quite the journey. So, explain to me what you're doing here. You come seeking a place among Adam's children? Adam's children? Who are they? We are the children of Adam. Servants of the creator of this and all worlds. You walk through his domain. What do you mean, his domain? The island. You've seen the fog? Heard the Geiger counter on your little bracelet pipe up? That is Adam. Spreading his glow across this land. And that glow is the path to our salvation. So, you worship... radiation? We worship its ability to transform. To create something better. Why? That idea call to you? I'm interested in joining. Sign me up. Decisions of who may enter our family, we leave to Adam. You'll have to perform a ritual. Prove yourself worthy in his eyes. By doing what, exactly? There is a small spring not far from here. Those chosen by Adam drink and are granted something. A token. An experience. Those not chosen... rarely return. Adam requires. Then let us hope he deems you fit. Go to the spring. Drink. You come back, we'll discuss you joining the faithful. Started. Visions in the fog. Drink from the spring. Okay. Hi. <clears throat> I am Adam's vigilance. None shall escape my gaze. 
I cool. Um, so can I go in here? Oh, nope. No, it is red. They would not be happy. Okay, so before I can even do anything with these people, I have to go to the magical, mystical spring of Adam. Okay, you guys do know that, like, it kills you, right? No? Alright. Uh, so let's take a look here. Um, oh, it really is not far from here. Sure, I'll bite. Let's go- oh. Hi, buddy. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go try out this spring. Let's do it. Now, we are not doing the main thing with them. We're, we're basically doing side quests. That's our goal. Is we're doing side quests for Far Harbor, side quests for Arcadia, side quests for the Children of Adam. And, uh, from what you've told me, we can apparently do- oh. God, that's frightening. That thing's gonna be mad. Really mad. Yeah, it's dead. <laughs> um, from what you've told me, we can actually do the side quests uh, unimpeded. You know, we, we don't have to worry about getting locked out of anything. That was a legendary. Bolstering Raider left arm, that's garbage. Uh, bottle cap, scope for innards, uh, a trifold American flag. They the American flag at some point. So where's this spring? Oh, God! Oh, it had a kid. It had a baby. Hi, buddy. This is, uh, really unfortunate. Don't call your mama if you got another one. Our rad shot up to ten. Oh my god. Uh, duct tape and a used oil can. That sounds great. There's another enemy over here. It's another young gulper. Stop right there. Come on, buddy. God, it's like we're in Jurassic Park. Ow! For a young one, you're pretty strong. Christ! Ooh! We're good. Are there more? Oh my god, they're everywhere. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Uh, of course they are. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they be? Oh my god, there's one behind me or something. Stay away from me. Stop right there. I got him. I got him. I got him. Kill. All right, we good? He won't kill me now. We should be okay. Woo! God, you had me worried there for a second, pal. Well, time to get your item. Yeah, I know, it's, uh, that hurts you a lot more than it hurts me, because I'm shooting a, a shotgun literally into your brain. Could you please slow down? You're making this really difficult. And... you're dead. Good night. Woo! Take that head clean off, and take a look at what you got. What'd you give me? Duelist combat armor right arm, 10% uh, 10 chance to disarm melee attacker on hit, that's not terrible. Keep your cafeteria tray. Not interested in in that. Okay, so uh, Gulper City over here. Just trying to find this legendary spring to drink from it, so I can uh, learn more about his holiness, Adam. Sure. Did I do it? Is this it? Do I have to get into the bottom of the lake? Shipbreaker signal found. Tune to Shipbreaker's radio frequency. Okay, so that's something different. My god, is the radio on? I think it is. Signal strength is bad. Starting to get higher. Let's go check it out. See if we can hear whatever this Shipbreaker thing is. This direction? We're getting there. I'll go check out the spring in just a moment. I'm trying to hear this thing about Shipbreaker. Getting stronger. Getting stronger. Getting stronger. Now I'm starting to worry. Quick save. Getting bigger. 70%. Seventy-three? Seventy-two? Sixty-nine? Oh god, which direction? Which direction is it? No, not that way. This way? I'm gonna head this direction for a sec. Is this it? Seems to be going stronger this way. We're getting there. Still haven't completely heard it. Eighty-five. It's gotta be this way. 
90? 91? 93? Something's working. Where? God, where is the signal? 87? Oh, what the heck? Is it in the water? What do you see? Longfellow, what do you see? Oh, I'm stuck. I can't- I can't move. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Shipbreaker... ...is... ...in some strange way... ...an enemy. And I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, my God, I'm stuck. I mean, I did just quick save. That's somewhat convenient, but I'm stuck. If I could jump, I could- I could... ...jetpack out of here. Oh, my God. He has 4,000 ballistics. Um... So that's pretty bad. So you have to be killed absolutely positively with... ...with a laser. Wait, it doesn't do me any good to kill you if I can't get out of here. Hi, Shipbreaker, how are you? You seem like a mighty fine specimen. Please don't eat my face off. Because that would make me mighty sad. Oh my god, I'm- I'm a sitting duck here. If he comes over here, I'm- I'm gonna die. Although maybe- maybe he knows I'm trapped so he won't bother me. That's an idea. My god, I can't- I can't get out. Ugh. So he must have, like, some sort of radio inside of him? I guess? It's kind of bizarre, but alright. There we go. He's gonna mutate. Alright, so he's, um... A third of the way dead. There's a car up there or something. Shipbreaker's not moving. This is- this is good, but this is also bad because I still at this point have not figured out how to get out of here. And I- I guess there's really no point in using like Fat Albert or something. He has 4,000 damage resistance. Oh god, I'm right next to that. Did that help me? In any way? Not really? This is weird. The game doesn't know how to handle this. Shipbreaker is waiting on me to move, but I physically can't move. So I'm instead just wailing on him. Which is actually kind of nice, because I'm gonna kill him. The problem is, I may not- it may not matter. I may be physically stuck. God. I could probably maybe get out of it by fast traveling? Maybe. The problem is, if I fast travel, the body may disappear, and then I won't get whatever the crap this thing is. It's obviously important. It's named, it's a legendary, and it's a- a boss guy. He's a much- higher level than I am. So this is, um, this is awkward. Thanks, Bethesda. <laughs> Always making the best games. And you are dead. Which is great, but I can't move. Seriously. Oh my god. I'm starting to move. I'm starting to move. I'm... Uh, there we go. Oh my god, I got out. I got out! Yes! You had a chameleon synth chess piece, which is not particularly great, I guess, but sure. Where's, uh, where's Longfellow? It said, talk to Longfellow. Longfellow, where you at? Where'd you go? Longfellow? Oh my god, I got, I got a rib cage as a, as a as a prize. Just lay me down on my knees and peek with a jug of punch at my head and my feet. Hey. Something you need from me? You can rest easy now that Shipbreaker is dead. Don't know about resting easy. But it's one less thing to worry about. Funny thing is, happy as I am that she's gone, I think I'm gonna miss her in a way. Walking in the fog will be a bit less interesting now. But I don't have to wonder if she might be lurking behind the next rock. Kept me on my toes, she did. For that, I'm grateful, in spite of the sorrow she visited on the island. Here, you may as well have my trusty old harpoon gun. Saving it for delivering the killing blow to Shipbreaker. But now you should have it. 
cool. Skipper's last stand, 150 damage resistance while reloading. Pretty cool. That takes care of Shipbreaker. We got experience. I was just wandering around. Also, now I'm over encumbered. So it was really great that you gave me your weapon. Can you please now take it back? <laughs> I can't hold it. I'm sorry. I don't. I, I'm not trying to be rude. I just. It's it's very heavy. The <laughs> very heavy weapon. Um, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Next episode, we'll finally get back over to uh, to that spring and drink from it. Uh, and then we'll we'll proceed from there. We also want to do Mitch's stuff too, so we get quite a few things to think about. Let me know what you want to see next. Thanks for watching. See you next time for more Stephen Plays Fallout 4.